Hey, what's going on guys? It's Darius from ArtistShortcut.com and in this video, I want to give you a part two on how to manage your money as a music artist. So this is basically a follow-up to the video I just released with tips on how to manage your money. So the, the thing that I really want to talk about in this video is to make sure that you write down all of your expenses and all of your income. You want to make sure that you have all of these different things listed out, whether it be a spreadsheet, you're using QuickBooks Online, or you're using a uh, wave accounting, which is what I recommend, and I'll talk a little bit more about it. But uh, you basically want to make sure that you're tracking everything. You want to know where your money is going. You want to know what money is coming in. And when you do this, it gives you, it allows you to see a better picture of your your music career from a a perspective that you may not be focused on right now. You may be focusing just on like the art and the creative side of it, but you get to see those numbers in the actual business side of it that says, hey, this is not profitable. You need to start making money or, hey, this is profitable. Like you're doing a good job. Just keep it up. And I think that all artists, regardless if you're just starting out, if you've been in the game for a while, everybody needs to, to record their expenses and income. It's necessary. Not only does it help you get more organized for tax time if you choose to go that route, if you made any money, but it also allows you to... Uh, to kind of get an idea of what it actually costs you to pursue your music career. It, it allows you to see how much it's costing you for studio time. Like you know how much you, you just go out and pay and you spend the money, but it allows you to see that money added up over time. So you see a sum of it just over the course of the whole year or something like that. And you can use a software like QuickBooks Online, which is like $10, $12 a month for like the basic one. I don't use it and I personally I can't recommend it because I've used it before a long time ago with another one of my companies and it wasn't really too too easy for me just because of the, the automatic transfers and things like that, but that's just me. So if you want to give that a try, I definitely recommend just testing out it. Don't don't pay for it, but do like a, a trial and then see how it works from there. Um, you can use a spreadsheet like Excel or anything like Excel or Google Sheets and that's what I've been using since I started Artist Shortcut. And uh, I'm trying to transition more into something that's easier to give my accounting or easier to actually get a, a bigger picture view of things. So, right, like I can see different reports and things of that nature. And I don't want to build those out in Excel. Like I'm not that great in Excel where I can build out all that, all those different things. So I'm using right now, I just started using a piece of software called Wave Apps. And it's basically, it's called Wave Accounting, but it's... And when I log in, it says Wave Apps because it's an app, but whatever. It's uh, it's called Wave Accounting, and it's free, entirely free. It doesn't cost you anything, and it allows you to do accounting similar to how you would use uh, QuickBooks Online or similar to almost any other accounting software. It's not the, the most uh, attractive interface. It's definitely not designed like how you would expect software to be. It's a little bit uh, more more plain and simple, but it gets the job done and it's definitely worth the price, which is $0. So I definitely recommend that you try uh, Wave Accounting out, the just the software, and try to get a, try to learn one, try to learn about, you know, what all you're spending your money on, what income is coming in and learn about the different categories as far as like categorizing your your expenses and and things of that nature just because the more you know right the better the better you'll be in the long run um but yeah i definitely recommend tracking your expenses your income you want to you want to track as much as you as, as you possibly can because it not only helps you like i said before it not only helps you get organized and see where your money is going but a, another added benefit that not a lot of people talk about and that's uh like you go to do like a record deal or you go do any type of partnerships or someone invest in you they're going to want to see that stuff they're want to they're going to want to see the numbers and see the business side because if they put money towards you it's because of business it's not because like they think you're just the coolest person ever or whatnot. It's it's usually a business relationship. Like they understand that you have something of value which can be commoditized to an audience. So I definitely recommend doing that from the start. If you're not doing it, start doing it today um, and date it January 1st and just go back and, and write all your expenses out. You should be able to see it if you have a bank account. You can look at your transactions. Um, and yeah, just... Start doing that as soon as possible because this is your business and you want to know where your money is going and what money is coming in. Don't let someone else 
be kind of the captain of your financial ship. You don't want that. So guys, that is it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Please thumbs up the video and subscribe because you want to stay updated with all the new tips and stuff that I put out, right? So that is it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.